Now yeah, around the back here, you can hear Chiff Chaff's. Be a wren. I just heard a wren. Yeah, a lot of action over here. Yeah, you can park on the main road, main road surrounding, for two hours, no return within three. Or if you want to stay longer, just go over to the the cinema car park and park in front of that. Knock yourself out. It's a five six minute walk maybe. This area, the eastern end, is always quite quite loud with green with uh, goldfinch because there's some fresh water being pumped out over there. This is to the the far east side. Yeah. Goldfinch, um, starlings, and. Common turns, a lot of common turns here. We're going to go and have a look. So we've just come out onto the Thames foreshore, tides out a little bit to get to see what it's like. Now, when I grew up here in the 80s, this was mud, <laughs> sand, the sand, forget it, you're joking. So the, the sea is really cleaned up. So the sea, the river is really cleaned up. Uh, yeah, and obviously this entire area, which is all sort of modern flats now, was just, just scrap yards and things like that. But, um, yeah, this is the skyline. Just uh, was, there was nothing. There was nothing here in the, the 80s. So, let's have a common turn coming back with some food. So we're going to go and see the where they nest. Now, in front of the the reserve here on the waterfront, you get sand martins coming in. So a nice line up for some good photos and the turns as well. So down across Ness, further east, we don't really get the sand martins and the turns like this, so it's always a nice change of scenery to come down here. Uh, but just, yeah, watch out for the cycle path is on the left, it's not very well uh, laid out. And, um, people mix and match, just be careful. So just coming up to the gap in the bushes here, which is where I'd normally stand and take my sand martin photos when they're flying in. Um, if I don't get any today, I will input one I did last time. Nice one, just coming in. Yeah, they come in between those boats. The turns sometimes nest on that floating dock there. At the moment, there's some uh, Canada geese over there. And that one. And yeah, a few, no, no common turns at the moment, but they're out there. Any San Martin? Ah, that's what it is. I've just, um, I've. I brushed against something. I thought, why is my back and my leg starting to, to hurt? I just brushed against nettles. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't worn shorts for a little while, so I'm out of uh, practice with what I should be wearing. It's a strange weather today. It's uh, 17, going to be 20, and it's a bit nippy. As soon as the sun goes behind a cloud, but that's why I brought this top as well, because the last time I was here, it was warm, but then when you go in the hide, it's freezing. So. It's always a good habit to, you know, bring a bag and bring something to put over yourself. Even if it's just a thin cover, cover your, cover your arms. Good habit to make. So I can't you know, say a couple of sand martins have gone out. But there's a whole swarm of little flies here. So it's got... Oh, common turn. Oh, it's taking food out. It's got something in its beak, I don't... Well, I'm going to get some photos and try and work out what's going on. So as you can see, it had a fish in its beak. Uh, I don't know why it would... Somebody tell me, we would fly out from the nesting site, out into the river, turn and come back. Don't understand, what's all that about? Lots I've got to learn about bird behaviour. So we're just going into the actual park itself. So this is the entrance. Uh, just remember, it's closed Monday and Tuesdays, every other day, 10 till 5. And there's a little uh, bird box here. I've seen birds coming in, so they're quite cool with humans. Um, let's go through. Collecting nests and eggs and things they've collected. And then it gets noisy. Fantastic. Goldfinch turns. Great tip. Turn. Ah! Sad Martins, anything. Yep, Canada geese, it's going to be a good day. Definitely louder than the last time I was here, those turns are going mental. Yeah, lots of Sad Martins, I'm not sure I've seen any 
looking to see if there are any barn swallows. Crow, grey heron, wood pigeon, mallards. Feral pigeons. Reed warbler. Not that, the reed warbler is in the distance. Blue tip, great tip, I always get them mixed up. Got lots of different calls. right up to the bottom left here we hopefully will hear some green finch over in those trees listening out for any new songs red oh good they've uh, refilled the pond here last time i saw birds taking off time before last sorry and uh, last time we came it wasn't full of water so there were no birds coming down for the tree. There was a green finch down the second to last time I was here. That'd be a great photo if I can get that. And a reed warbler. Black cap. Chetties. Just coming around to the second hide. I did stop in the first one, but a couple of photographers showed up, and no matter how quiet they tried to be, little clicks and stuff pick, get picks up in the, the video. So last time I was here, Greenfinch landed there, missed it by a second. There's usually quite a sh relatively showy Chetties warbler hanging around in this area. I think that was a Dunnock and last year I even I heard it even uh, this year last year I heard uh, saw Willow got nice pictures of a Willow Warbler yeah, so let's get in the hide there's other green finches in that tree there lovely birds anyway, let's get back in the hide <laughs> so, this is what we're seeing. This is really good. I was hoping for this. There's a couple of pied wagtails and a grey wagtail, and they're catching flies off of the stands and the island, which gives a perfect opportunity to get flight shots. So I'm already firing away. Trying to get the settings right, trying to judge when they're gonna take off and which direction they're gonna take off. Sometimes they kind of look that way and then go that way, <laughs> whatever. Uh, that pied wagtail is not moving at the moment, so I'm waiting for Mr. Gray to show back up. He took some flies off to his nest somewhere, or her nest somewhere. Had some success with the hide wagtail and the grey wagtail taking off. Some flight shots. Fighting the rolling shutter. The rolling shutters, you're going to have to look into this. I don't know the specifics exactly. But it's something to do with um, when you're using an electronic shutter, which you can fire more shots off per second. Um, it comes at a price in that the top of the picture gets taken before the bottom it rolls down. And therefore, if it's a fast moving subject, it captures the top of the photo first and then the bottom of the photo as it was moving through will have moved and you sometimes get this weird bend in some of the especially wings and background so you have to just hope that one of them didn't have a problem when it flapped its wings but it's going to happen with smaller birds more on 3200 um, frames per second but some usable ones yeah i'm quite happy with that uh, we better watch it because we're running low on time um yeah i just wanted to be here for about two hours so 
We're going to have another little wander around, see if anything new can hear anything new. Okay, let's go. I believe we have 24 species today at the Greenwich Eco Park. And as Charlton Heston's character in True Lies says, this isn't exactly blowing my skirt up, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, so, starling, feral pigeon, I shouldn't have this on to my back, should I? Wood pigeon, sand martin, Canada geese, common tern, reed warbler, grey wagtail, pied wagtail, wren, blue tit, great tit, blackbird, great blackback gull, mallard, coot, moorhen, chetties, warbler, European robin, goldfinch, greenfinch, carrion crow, grey heron, magpie, forgot I got a cormorant as well it's probably one or two others but it's in the region of 25 26 it's okay it's just a different it's a change of scenery you, you you've seen what it's like now it's a lovely little day out for a two three hours I'm literally running out of time now um, sun now I've got to watch that I have made a sunshade for this camera I've got to remember to use it um, this is handy having a secondary phone because I made a few mistakes at the on the only video where I didn't put things alphabetically because I'd written them down and I'd, I'd gone over a couple twice. So if I do it on the phone, at least I can keep things in alphabetical order. I can add things in. Um, yeah, they're, they're so they're so cheap now. I mean, I, I, I didn't even bother selling this. This is the iPhone 8. When it came to selling it, it wasn't worth much. I thought as a second phone, it is so handy to have. Okay, get down here. It's a great place.